Thailand's made its first move to ban commercial surrogacies in the wake of the baby Gami scandal. Abandoned by his Bunbury parents because he has Down syndrome, Gami's about to celebrate his first birthday with his Thai family in a new home. Four months ago, baby Gammy was in hospital fighting a lung infection. <laughs> Today, he's almost walking on his own. <laughs> he eats a lot. His development is, is good. Gammy, his surrogate mother and her young family have a new home. A three-bedroom townhouse two hours out of Bangkok, paid for by Australians who donated to charity Hands Across the Water. What is this sign here? Can you tell us what yeah. it says? and home for Gammy, baby Gammy. So it's already his home. <laughs> yeah, his home now. Gammy was abandoned by his biological parents, David and Wendy Farnell. Hanging on the wall inside, a photo of his twin sister, Piper, living a very different life in Bunbury. <laughs> Their surrogate mother hopes they'll be reunited, but her mission for now is to guarantee Gammy's future, applying for his Australian citizenship. <laughs> She's afraid that if one day something happened to her, who's going to take care of him? And she knows for sure nobody can take care of him as good as she does. Gammy's plight catapulted Thailand's surrogacy it's trade into the spotlight. Trade. More than 40 clinics were shut down when Gammy's story was made public. Today, they've reopened, including the one behind me here. Laws to ban commercial surrogacy are still just a proposal. We've been told by some couples that new requests for surrogates have been rejected. Gammy's surrogate mother still receives phone calls from other women asking for her help, but she says she's left that life behind her. Gammy will turn one two days before Christmas. The family will celebrate by visiting a shelter for disabled children where they'll make a donation. Now that Gammy has been helped, she wants him to go and spread the love and the care to other people. Tracy Vo, Nine News.